Okay, can everybody see the slide? Can everyone hear me? Welcome everyone. My name is Melissa Armo and I own the Stock Swoosh. I'm happy to be here with you today. I live in New York and I own the Stock Swoosh and basically we're going to talk today about the only strategy that I train and a system that I developed a very long time ago now, almost 10 years. It is a winning strategy, my strategy. It's called the Golden Gap and it produces results. We're going to talk specifically about it. I ha it's interesting because I had an email uh, earlier this morning and it was someone that you know just found me on, on YouTube and he asked me, he said, I'm a beginner. Is this strategy is what you do for beginners or is it for you know people that have traded in our experience? And I said, you know what? Everyone that comes to me, whether they have traded in the past, whether they have never traded, is really on the same level because what I do is very unique. So my system, my strategy, what we're gonna talk about today, which is just a, 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 an introduction really to what I do. I couldn't possibly talk for an hour about what I do in, in any great detail because my class is 16 hours long, but you'll get an introduction to it today to see if it's something you're interested in. There's a lot of people that are out there and they're interested in trading, but they don't know what to do. And one of the reasons I'm successful is I just focus on one thing and I don't do anything else. So getting back to what I was, what I was trying to explain is that everyone comes to me and they're all on the same level because they don't know what I know about my system. Why? Because I created it, okay? So whether you've traded in the past, whether you've never traded it at all, do not be concerned about that, okay? You can do this if you learn what to do, and I try to help people as best I can. I answer questions, I get back to people in emails, usually within 24 hours. I try to do good about that, and you can always reach out and call me if you have questions too. Now, <laughs> if you are interested in my class, if you are interested in learning, you can email me for a trial this week to the live trading room, okay? The class that I teach I usually teach it once a month, and for this week, for this month of June, it's this weekend, June 12th and 13th, okay? Again, I'm in Eastern time zone. I trade mostly in the morning, which works out because the market opens at 9.30 Eastern, and again, I'm in New York. Now, if you're in some place else in the world, you have to figure out with your schedule, can you trade between the hours of 9.30 Eastern and 10.30 Eastern? Those are the important times that you would want to be available to day trade. Now, what if you want to use my system for options, which I do? We're going to talk about one option in here today, or two, in this lecture that I had called on the options newsletter. If you want to do options, that's fine too. You don't have to sit for one hour doing options for the first hour of the day, but you should be available in the beginning morning period because I often will put a trade on, enter an options trade in the beginning of the day. I may not exit it, in the first hour of the day, but I will put it on. So if you're busy, if you're at work, if you're doing things and you wanna just do options, you can put the order in, get in the trade, and then you could put a sell order so you don't have to babysit it or watch it if you cannot look for the targets. Go about your business. If the order gets filled, it gets filled, okay? Thank you, Kathy. And if anybody has questions as we're going along here today, you can always write them in the room. See some familiar faces today and I see some new faces. Thank you. Okay. So let's get started. Summer's a great time to trade. It's hot here in New York. We're getting a summer thunderstorm right now, which is a beautiful look at outside my, my, my window. I live up very high. But it's been 95 degrees. It was almost 100 degrees yesterday. One of the reasons that I think summer is a good time to trade is because this job, trading, if you want to do it for a living, is it's not something that you have to do you know, eight, 10 hours a day. You can trade for half an hour. Sometimes we trade for one hour. Sometimes I'm in a trade for five minutes, literally, less than that. So I think summer is a great time to trade because if, especially if you live in the Northeast, you wanna take advantage of the beautiful weather. Before you know it, it's gonna be winter here, okay? So it's nice because you can go golfing in the afternoon, go to the pool, do other things with your life, which again, is very convenient. Now, if you've been trading for some time and you have been unsuccessful or losing money, I will tell you one thing. If you come to me 
and you listen and you learn and you do the right actions, you will, you will do well. And what will happen is you will start to smile again, feel positive again, believe that you can do this again. Think back if you've been trading for a long time. When you first started trading, you got involved with the market. Why? Because you wanted to make money. You believed that you could make money. You didn't do it thinking you were gonna lose. And then consequently, you probably did start trading and you did lose and you didn't know what you were doing. This is what often happens to people. I've listened to people's stories for years, ever since I started the business. No one wakes up and is born and starts making money and never looks back. People go up and down and usually they lose until they learn what to do. So it is the cycle of life where you will go through a journey until you find the right trading system, until you find the right mentor to follow, to learn from, okay? But once you start winning, it makes you feel positive. Now I see Philip in here tonight. Well, there's two Philips. I'm gonna talk to Pip Daddy. Pip Daddy, are you there? Pip Daddy has not done any of my classes yet, and Pip Daddy just joined the options newsletter, and he had a fabulous trade last week, and I think he doubled his money or something. Pip Daddy, are you there? So, and he's very happy. So, you know, once you say, you know, my gosh, I really can do this thing. That's right. I remember that you can really make money in the market. I knew why, and now I know why I'm doing this in the first place. You know, winning makes you feel positive. There's Pip Daddy. Winning makes you feel positive. Winning makes you feel happy. But when you're losing, you don't feel happy. Sometimes what happens is when people are losing, they blame themselves. It's usually not you. It's usually whatever strategy you're using doesn't work, quite frankly. You know what I mean? So think about that and just take a step back. What you've got to do is focus on the right information. This is what I do in the morning. I drew this chart. This is a pie chart. And the reason I made the pie chart this way is I want to show you that this is all the time, which is a big chunk of the pie, that I that I spend getting ready to trade, doing the prep work, focusing on the information, and then this is the time I spend in the trade. So this is the time that I spend prepping. This is the time that I spend actually in the trade. So the more time I spend getting ready and focusing on the information before I take the trade, the better the trade I'm gonna have and the faster I'm in and out, which is of course what you wanna do. Remember, trading, active trading, I don't care if you're doing options, swing trades, day trades, it's in, out, in, out. That could be minutes, that could be hours, it could be a couple of days, but this is not long-term investing by any stretch of the imagination, okay? Active trading is pulling money in and out of the market, period. That's it, okay? So the shorter you're in it, the better. And you should be taking profits along the way, even if you're gonna hold something, say, for like a week or whatever. I saw that, Kathy, thank you. I, Pip Daddy started answering and then he signed out. He'll, he'll find his way back. Thank you. So anyways, think about that. Focus on the information, focus on the strategy, then the money will come. So if you wanna make money in the market, you have to have a strategy, that's number one. Then you have to have a strategy that produces results and it has to win more than it loses. Not every trade that I take works, obviously. I do not have a 100% win ratio, but I have a high win ratio, so much so that I am winning more than I'm losing and the winners not only cover the losers, I have profit after that. And that is how you can look forward into the future week by week, month by month, year by year, and start to get somewhere with this thing, okay? Going back to, again, the smiley face where you feel positive and happy and like you're moving forward. It's the idea of taking 10 steps forward. You may have then one losing trade and you take one step back then you take two steps forward. But it's the idea that all along the way, you are making progress and that's what counts. That's what counts, okay? Pip Daddy, I see you just got back in. Hopefully you'll stay in the room or Kathy can help you. So do you want to trade the market but don't have a lot of time to devote to trading each day? Then my strategy could be for you because like I said, I'm in and out very quick in most of these trades. Do you want to do something where you have money coming in every month and you don't have to work again 40 hours, 50 hours. Some people are working ever more than before because they're working from home. So even though it's convenient, they're working a lot of hours and they're not making any extra money, which is problematic. Do you want to find a way to pick which stock to trade that will move in the day to pay you? 
okay? That is the important piece of this. That's the part of this. We're going to go over some of the recent trades today in here. Again, if you want to try the live trading room, the live trading room is equity trading. It's day trading, not options. My options is a newsletter. I do not have a trial for that, but I do have a trial for the room. Every day I get up in the morning, I'm looking for the best pick, one pick. And I also think that's why it makes it easy <coughs> Excuse me, to follow me because I'm usually doing one thing a day. I mean, how hard is it to follow when I'm focused on one ticker symbol? And of course, I say what direction. I'm never going long and short the same stock on the same day. That's ridiculous to me. And I know people do it, but that's really dumb in my opinion. <coughs> okay. And any questions, you can write it in the room. Do you want to trade the market but don't know where to start? Again, if you're a beginner, that's okay. You can come to me as a beginner and I will teach you from the ground up what I know. I do not hold back in the class. You really could do my class and trade by yourself on your own. While I offer the trading room as a support system, it's not necessary. I think it helps you, okay, and I'm calling the live trades in the room, but you learn in the class how to do it yourself, how to make the picks, how to pick what stock to trade. So the meat and potatoes of what I do is a system that is a 26 point rating system that's based on stocks that are gapping. We're gonna go over in a minute what a gap is. One of the reasons that I like gaps is they move big and they have volume and volatility. Now you may say, well, volatility, that sounds like a bad word. It is not a bad word if you're a trader. It may scare you if you have an, a long-term investment in the market and your retirement account, but volatility is not something that exists in the, in the market, for example, in the same stock every single day. Stocks have temporary volatility, what I call temporary volatility, but those are the days that you can trade them in a specific direction, whether up or down, and make money as an active trader. Remember, this is not long-term investing, this is active trading. Now let's talk about what a gap is. This is a day chart of Apple. I'm gonna show you bullish gaps and bearish gaps in this chart. Apple has both, okay? So you're gonna go up here. This is back the beginning of May. See where we are. Now, a gap is the difference between the close and the open. Apple closed here at four o'clock. That's when the US market closes. Boom, four o'clock, boom, done. The next day at 9.30, it opened here. Now, what did it do? It gapped. So it gapped down, fell. Could have shorted this or did it put? Now, a gap is the difference between the close and the open. Some stocks gap down, some stocks can gap up. We'll show you one gap up in a minute. But whatever the price is here, I can't see it exactly, but say it's 132.50. If it's opening here at 131.20 at a price underneath the close, that is gapping down. It's also different. Now, what's a gap up? Let's look at this one over here. Here it closed, again, this is Apple at a certain number here, around 132.60, then it opened where? The next day at 9.30, opened around 135-ish. So it gapped up. So here's a gap up, here's a gap down. Okay, I do both, but we're talking about just what a gap is here. Let's look at the cues. So, this is the QQQs, this is an ETF for the market. This is one of the market ETFs I look at on a daily basis. Closed here, gapped up. Closed here at 322.50, open in the morning above it, so it opened higher, so this is a bullish gap up. What could you have done with this here? Use my system to rate the gap to determine if you should go long this or short it. What did it do? It rallied, it got bought. You could have made money going long, okay? Now, let's talk about a gap down. Closed here, gap down. Closed here at around 335-ish, opened in the morning, 332.50, fell. So this is a closed price of one number and an open price of a different number, and then it fell. Okay? This closed here, this gap down, fell here too. So again, you have gap ups, you have gap downs, pretty much in every single chart. Now. Can you trade the same thing every single day and get good results? No. Even the market, even though it gaps every day, is not gonna have a 
a definitive way to play the gap every day because it will not rate high every single day. Many stocks, and the market included, are just not tradable on most days. So that's why I'm very specific. Again, go back to the pie chart where I'm trying to focus on the information to pinpoint and find the absolute best thing that I can trade, okay? Any questions here, let me know. So one of the other reasons I like to trade gaps is they have a great risk to reward payout. You'll see this in the trades that we did here that we'll talk about today. But when you're risking a dollar, you're looking to make a dollar, or even 50 cents is a good trade, okay? Now, when you do day trades, you need margin. When you do options, options are not a margin. Options are a cash position, okay? So it's a difference. If you don't know what I mean, you can ask me that, but it's a different type of account you would set up with the broker. And there you can earn beautiful profits with gaps because of the simple fact that they have a lot of momentum and then, of course, volume and volatility, which as I stated earlier, is very, very advantageous for you as an individual trader. You don't wanna get in something and then it doesn't move or it moves five cents. I'm looking for a dollar or more. And again, depending on the stock, it could be even way more if it's an expensive stock, okay? And also the benefit of trading gaps. One of the benefits also, besides the fact that I have a high win ratio for my strategy is that it has fast profits, quick profits. I'd like to be in and out quick. Again, summer trading. Summer trading, uh, the afternoons in the summer can flatline. You must be in and out, I think, quick in the trades if you want to make money, particularly if you're day trading. And I'm talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days a week, solid. Not that you have to trade every day, but if you want to, okay? And I try to, I mean, I try to trade every day if I can find something good. But I'm all really looking for one thing, one focus. I'm looking to hit a bullseye every day. And to be honest with you, I do it a lot. Do I do it every day? No, but I do it a lot, okay? But that's always my goal. That's always my goal. I always have my eye on the prize. The prize is the money, obviously, but really if I find a highly rated gap, okay, in the pre-market, I'm looking to get hit one bullseye just with that one particular ticker symbol, okay? Because that's really all you need. And then how do you make, you said, well, how do you make more money if you're not doing this thing, this thing, this thing, and a million trades a day or trading till four? Because I'm using size. I'm adding size. Again, making money in the market is about high odds. So I'm looking for quality, quality trades, quality moves, big moves, quality gaps, okay? And one of the other reasons I like to trade gaps is I find they're very efficient and effective Again, hitting the bullseye, that whole philosophy towards that is what I mean. Now, Divinia is a great example of exactly what I do and what I'm very, very good at doing is I called calls in Divinia on Thursday, May 27th, and look at the time. This was before the open. I called the 6.30 calls that expired the following Friday. This was an options trade. For those of you that don't know, this is a call. Okay, it's an options newsletter. The cost was not cheap, but this was not half bad. NVIDIA is expensive stock. I'll show you the chart in a minute. Cost was eight bucks for one, okay? <laughs> so the eight, 10 contracts was an advanced trader risk of 8,000, sold at 22, profit 14,000. This is if you took 10. Now, what if you took one? Would have cost you 800. You still would have made 1,400 bucks. Now, this would have been taking the trade on Thursday and exiting it the following day on Friday, May 28th. Now here is what it did. So here's the day I called the trade, 27th. And then it's the next day here, the 28th. So you can see what it did. It ran up, boop, ran all the way up here. This is Friday, actually. This was going into Memorial Day weekend. Now, I thought this was a good exit on this. This is a great profit here, people. Okay, fabulous, fabulous. Not quite 200% return on investment. It was about 175, I think. That's way more than 50%, way more than 100%, a beautiful trade. However, if you held this trade, this is, this was the 28th. You see, I call it to the fourth. This is very rare. But if you held the trade until the very last day of expiration, which I'm not telling you to do, but if you did, or even if you held it to the day before, it ran up over 700. 
it ran 70 plus points over the strike from the time that I called it, which was a week before. It was huge if you held it. It was a great trade anyways, but I knew it would go and I knew it would go to 700, really. I, we did other trades in this, which I don't have in here. But the reality is, how did I know that? How did I know that was going to happen? Because of my Golden Gap rating system. So when you sign up for the newsletter here, you don't do any of the work. I do the work. I'm doing the work for you. And then I send you the trade. Most of them in the pre-market, some are during the day. Okay? Now, if you want to learn how I'm figuring these things out, how do I know Navinia is going to go run up and do what it did? Then you take my class and you would learn it. Okay? Any questions here so far? Pip Daddy, did you do any of the Navinias? Now, I also call the 650s, but I called these on Friday, 1014 in the morning. This was the following day. I saw it was running. I called another trade for the day after. This ran right up the same day. Again, if you held it in the following week, it ran more than $50. But this was a Friday exit. These were cheaper. Cost six bucks, 12 contracts. Risk was 7,200. Sold at 11. Profit 6,000. This was a nice trade. Again, one contract, you could have paid $600. And then you would have made $500. Still a fabulous trade. Not quite 100% return investment. Again, this was the same. This is a same day exit. Take it on the Friday, get it on the Friday. But you could have taken it Friday and you could have held it into the following week, which because of the Memorial Day holiday was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This ran up every day. Every day last week, this ran up. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, boom, today. Today it made another new high. I think it was 712 was the high today. Pip Daddy didn't do NVIDIA, okay. Well, you missed a good one, Pip Daddy. Anyways, it is about consistency. Consistency in risk. How much you risk per trade monetarily. Consistency in looking at the gap. Pinpointing it. Again, the concept of the bullseye, okay? Any questions here so far? Now, let's talk about a day trade. So those were options trades. You can use my system for options trades or day trades. Let's talk about this one. This was last week or the week before. No, yeah, this was the Friday before the Memorial Day. May 28th, the play of the day in the trading room was HPQ. This was a short, this was a day trade. I call trades live in the room for the day trades. Again, this is a live trading room. Entry was 3022. 4,500 shares was a risk of 2610. Exit 2977. And again, I call this in the room. I want to point this out and I'll show you the gap in a minute. The low of the day was like 29 something. So this was a fast exit. It kept going. You could have made more. I will give you targets in the room, but sometimes I like to get out quick. Again, this was Friday before the Memorial Day holiday, and I thought it was just boom, get in, get out. But I, I love it when I make money. It's close to one over. Risk was 2610, profit 2025. That's a good solid trade to me. However, if you held this is continued. So let's look at the gap. Stock closed here, gap down. This was on the Thursday. Stock closed here at 32. Open in the morning here, around 30.50. Fell. Boom. Again, low in here is around 29. This is a nice move. This worked. You're doing money management with a small account, Pip Daddy? Okay. That's fine. And another point, if you have a small account, you can slowly build it. You don't have to do all the trades. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. I'm staying in New York. I'm, I'm, I'm sweating it out here. <laughs> so I am here for those of you who want to learn. But anyways, this is different because it was an equity trade. It was a day trade. What do I mean? I mean, you have to have margin. So let's do an example. Say you shorted this, and I'm just going to make it easy. Say you shorted it at 30 bucks. Say you took 1,000 shares. How much margin would you have needed? 30,000? Does that mean you needed 30,000 cash? No, no, that's the margin. Depending on if you have a prop account or a retail account, you would divide the number of the, um, the amount of margin you get by the total amount of the buying power of the position. 
So if you're in four to one margin, you divide four by 30,000 to figure out how much cash you would need. If you are on 10 to one margin, which you could be in a prop trading place, you would divide 10 by 30,000 to see how much cash you would need. So lowest case scenario, you would need 10 to one margin, which is cheaper, would be 3,000 in cash to take a position with 1,000 shares. And if you did that, you could have made approximately 50 some cents, 45 cents, depending on where your exit was. And that's if you didn't hold it all the way down. It did go to 29, okay? If you are not familiar with prop accounts or not familiar with retail accounts, you can email me or ask me questions here as well. But there are so many different types of places for people to trade. With a lot of money, with small amounts of money, for options, for day trades, it really depends what you wanna do. I like doing both. It's the same strategy for me, whichever way I do it, but I like doing both because I feel like I get big moves with options holding overnight, and I like the quick, fast moves that happen immediately in the day trades. Now here was the HPQ. This closed here, this gap down, fell, boom. Okay, take it to the right. You see here, this came down to 29. Any questions here on this? This was a nice gap. Again, if you join the live trading room, I'm calling the train. If you do not want to get out where I say to take it, you can hold it. If it keeps going, you make more. If it doesn't, you can put the stop at break even. Okay, there's another idea. Now, the other one we did this week, or last week, was uh, the week of Memorial Day, was DY. What did this do? Stock closed here, gap down, rallied, fell, boom. Entry was 73.30, shares was 2,500, risk was 2,500. I added, I took more to the position, doubled up on it because I loved it. I thought it was really gonna fall. 5,000 shares, average price was 73.15, which still wasn't bad. Exit 70.50, profit was 14,000. So I'm showing you this whole thing here. Actually, I think I have a bigger here. Here you can see this a little bit better. Let's look at this. Stock closed here, right around 82. Boom, open in the morning here, 76. So this gap down, I rated it, then it rallied, then it fell. So it opened here around 76-ish. We actually did this late, because remember I said around 73-ish. So right in here, then it kept going, kept going, kept going, and you see where it broke. I forget if this broke 70 or not. That's a big fat bar. That bar depicts what? Shorting and selling. So this is a short, okay? So this is a lot of money to make in a day. How is that possible? Share quantity, 5,000 shares is nothing to sneeze at, but it's not 25,000 shares. 5,000 shares is doable. Half this would have been good. And, and the move, okay? So this is a good move. Remember I said momentum. You can call volatility if you want, but you've got volume. Here's the volume down here. And again, big move. Every day in the morning, I'm looking and predicting where the stock is gonna go based on the gap using the 26 point rating system so that I can take a position, long or short, and I'm looking for something that is going to ideally have a big move, okay? So to get something like this, which is almost a $3 move from the entry point, not even, this isn't even the whole move of the day, I told you to open at 76, even rallied above that, when you plop on size with something, you can see how you can just make a huge amount of money even in one trade. So you don't need to do 25 things a day. You don't need to trade and sit all day from 9.30 to 4.00. You can define one good quality gap and that's it. Then you plop on the size and you let it run. And, and, and I'm gonna go back to the video here because to be honest with you, I mean, look if you let this sucker run, look at that. Now I did other trades in this, which I don't have in here the following week. But I mean, this is what I'm talking about, about letting it run, let it run up, let it run this, you're letting it run down. 
boom. There it goes. That's called momentum. Okay. Any questions on gaps or these trades here that I'm talking about so far today? Or anything that I've said or what, we're, what I'm doing? So the moves happen fast in gaps. By fast, I mean what? Could happen in a couple of minutes, could happen the same day, could happen within two to three days. Sometimes I don't know. NVIDIA did not have a fast move on the day I called the trade on the Thursday. It went the next day. I still think that's fast for an option. Now, as far as day trades, again, I prefer if I'm in and out in several minutes. Sometimes a trade may take an hour, okay? But that's still fast when you think about it. When you think about the fact that some people work a month to make 14 grand, and you could make that in less than a day, you know, market's only open for six and a half hours, you could be in a trade and make that kind of money in less than two. That's still phenomenal. That's still fabulous. You're not working that hard. It's not, training isn't about, everyone says, oh, you know, people call me and say, I've been trying to do this for 25 years. Okay, you know, that's fine. But I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, you could spend 50 years trying to figure it out and waste your time and energy and money, okay? It's about really honing it down, thinking about the concept of the bullseye, thinking about the concept of really calculated risk, just doing one thing, quality. I'm trying to think of another example. It's like uh, if you wanted to become a professional athlete, you wouldn't say, I'm going to go out and I'm going to play tennis, I'm going to be professional tennis, professional baseball, professional football, and professional golf. Well, what's the chances that you would succeed and be in every single playoff for every one of those sports? While you may be very athletic and in great shape, and maybe you're good at every single one of those sports, the chances of you, you know, winning the trophy and tournament in every single one of those different sports is very low odds. I can't even think of one athlete that even does too well like that. So think of trading like that. It's about really the focus. And again, this is what I do is very unique because most traders are not like this. They're all over the place. Many people I talk to that come to me that are interested in learning how to trade with me and taking my class have done Forex or are doing Forex and they're doing futures and they're doing options and they're doing day trading and they're doing Bitcoin. I mean, they're doing a little bit of everything. So no wonder they're not good at one thing. I'm good at one thing. This is it. It's gaps. Sometimes I take a trade as an option, but it's based on the gap my gap method. Sometimes I take a trade as a day trade, but it's based on my gap method. That's it. I don't do anything outside of that. People keep trying to talk me into Bitcoin. Why? No interest in that whatsoever at all. Okay? If I decide I want to make more money than I'm making now, guess what? I will increase my size and I will increase my risk. Steady as she goes kind of thing. Okay? It's about quality, quality trades, not quantity. Any questions here so far? And again, this is a big mistake that many traders make. And I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know why they think that. It's like everybody wants to be a jack of all trades and, and, and not good at anything. So again, getting back to the share size, this is all that you need to do is one trade a day. And if you start out with a small account, you're going to take small size. You have to think about that. You have to be considerate of your cash can't risk all of your money in one trade so most of the stocks i'm doing again this is for the active day trades between five and a hundred dollars on average and then you have to look at your cash and determine the size that you can take share size monetary amount you can sit down and figure this out if something costs too much then you skip that one then you don't do it okay that's okay do the next one I'm looking to do about 30 to 60 minutes a day though for the active day trades. Again, I'll put an option on, I'll watch it, and then I'll see where it's at. I may get out of it the same day I may hold it. Depends how big of a move it has. One of the, what are the benefits of active trading and day trading? You don't have to work that long. You can work from home, and the only thing that's stopping you back from making endless amounts of money is how big your account is and your actual, uh, uh, your, your, what should I say? You're um, not experienced because a lot of people are experienced trading that come to me. You're, 
your 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 knowledge of what you're doing, your knowledge of the system itself, not not trading in general. Okay, not I know how to look at a chart and I know how to place an order and I know how to read moving averages and I know how to read a candlestick. That that isn't going to make you money. It's the analysis of the strategy, particularly for me, it's the rating system. It's the gap. That that intelligence, that knowledge, that it, that experience, just doing the gap is really where you have to determine when you're ready to step it up with the risk. Now, that may be taking the class, and it could be the first week. It could be in a month. It could be in a year, okay? Everyone is different, and that's okay, all right? I have no problem with people taking more risk if they have a small account, if they're analyzing the gap correctly and know what they're doing, like NVIDIA. That if you knew what you were doing, you would have known that was going to go. You could have stepped it up a bit. If you're super, you know, just grasping the concepts and really just don't understand it and have a lot of questions, take your time. Even if you have a huge account, you could risk $100 a trade. Take your time until you feel very comfortable with it. Again, it's the analysis of the gap itself, which again is what I teach in the class. It's analyzing the chart, predicting. I'm predicting where it's going to go. I predicted where NVIDIA would go. I was right. So I'm, you're coming to me, and I'm going to teach you how to predict the price action based on the gap. Is it going to go up, Melissa? Is it going to go down? That's what we're figuring out. Any questions here so far? How's everyone doing? So... I think a lot of for a lot of people's question, what are you willing to do to get there? I mean, it's it's been a tough year this past year for a lot of people. And a lot of people are feeling, quite frankly, lazy. That isn't a good attitude, okay? That's just not where you, your head has to be. You have to be fully, 100% invested in you. If you're not you're not going to be able to make your dreams come true, whatever they happen to be, whether it's buying a house, whether it's changing jobs, whether it's moving, whether it's buying a car, whether it's getting married, whether it's learning how to train as your full-time career, you have to be fully 100% invested in you and willing to do everything it takes to make your dreams come true. I do that with my own life. There's no looking back. Um, it's funny, I was on a TV segment today. My assistant will air it tonight on YouTube, and she asked me why I'm still in New York. I was taken back by that because no one's asked me that on live TV. We're alive. And, you know, I just answered it just very honestly and generally because I worked so hard to get here that I'm not leaving. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I hate to give up, which one of my dreams was to live in New York, despite the fact that New York is a disaster and has been for the last year and a half. I, I, I'm still here because I'm not going to give up on my dreams. And so you need to be like that with yourself, whatever they are. You can have a bad day training and you can quit if you want, but you're never going to make it then. You want to guarantee if you quit, you definitely will not make it. Ashcott is asking, are you looking for any particular percent move in the gap? No. No, I'm not. It's not that easy. You can't program my system into a computer and then just walk away and have a black box trade it. You have to use your brain. But guess what? Your brain is capable of figuring this stuff out. And then you also have something called what? An intuition. So take something like NVIDIA. That I use the system and I rate the gap. But then my intuition also is there telling me that it's going to go 70 points plus through the, the the number of the strike you know to i'll pull that chart up at the end but that was a great call um we can talk about that at the end too pip dotty so you got to think about what you're willing to do to get there you have to be fully invested in yourself and your dreams no if fans or buts this doesn't mean that you don't sleep at night and you work 24 hours a day studying charts seven days a week. That's not what I mean. 
I mean you show up every morning and you're there and you're present and you're not distracted and you don't whine and complain and want to quit when you have a bad day, okay? You do it, you do it, you do it. And again, I'm going to go back to the examples of athletes. Plenty of athletes that are even great athletes lose competitions. I think Serena Williams is out. I didn't see the match. I think she's out. She's out of the French Open and she had a great chance this year um, because of the other girl backed out. She's gone. You know, what are you going to do? You know, just never play again? This is life. You have to keep pushing forward. Everyone has bad days. You got to get over it. You have to keep going. And you have to want it. You and only you can take the steps in the right direction to get there. The world is full of wanted beings. And one of the reasons, again, that many people never are successful as traders is because they're not focused. They never get to the point where they are winning to have a positive attitude. They don't find the right strategy. They're all over the place. They're too distracted. They're in chat rooms, which are all, which everyone's um, in right now. And those stocks that people are trading are burnt. I mean, they are burnt. I'd never trade them in my life, okay? You need to look at this as a business, as something serious that you're doing. And whether you have a small account or a big account, you need to look at it like you have a big account and take it that seriously. And that's part of the process of learning. That's why I have a class and I teach people how to do it. That's the way to think of it as something serious. You're not going to change your situation by doing nothing, though, and that's for sure. So you have to take steps to change your situation if you want to improve something about your life. Could be, could be trading, could be your health, again, could be your living situation, whatever it is. So the Golden Gap rating system is what I teach in the class. It's a meat and potatoes of what I do. I measure gaps for rating them in the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, a big move in the day, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 a.m. And 10, and 10, and precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-to-reward target potential. Which, you know, and again, I don't get always out at the high of the day in a long or the low of the day in a short. That is not my goal. My goal is to do a good trade, pick the pick, make money. Sometimes I do have a low of the day exit in a short. And sometimes I do have a high of the day exit in a long, but not always. And that's not my goal. My goal is to make money. Okay. I think that is also a huge benefit of coming to me. I'm very, very, um, I'm very focused on making money. Like, like a bullseye. I love money. I love making money. And I fully can come out and just write out and say it. And if you feel that way about money and success, you will do a lot better off. Okay? You have to want it. But I find that training with the volume and the momentum of the money comes easy if you get a good gap. Again, you could do it as a day trade, a swing trade, or options trade. And how much you make is a function of how much you risk. So... I'm looking for a one-to-one -one reward in the day trades and the options, but sometimes I will get out of an option with slightly less than one risk turnaround, and sometimes I'll get way more out of an option, okay? Way more than one. But you should be consistent with your share size of the quantity of the monetary risk. This has to do with the difference between the entry and the stop, and when you're doing an option, you be, should be consistent too. So you're going to take 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, or 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. Try to keep it the same, okay? But you will make more money as you add size, and obviously everyone wants to make more. You've got to get to the point where you are learning as you go, okay? So let's talk about the Golden Gap system. The Golden Gap system is a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. This checklist tells you what to trade, when, and in what direction. The 26-point checklist predicts directional bias in a stop. Now, if you're interested in only the options newsletter, Pip Daddy is, is on the letter. He did not do the class. Pip Daddy, one day you will. But this isn't going to teach you the method. If you just want to get the options trains, fine. You sign up for the newsletter. It's $69.99 a year. You can sign up at any time. You can sign up today and get the trains tomorrow. It's one year subscription. I do not have trials for this and I don't have a shorter time frame. Okay, because every week and every month, I never know how many trades I'm going to do. A year is a lot of trades. So I say do it for the whole year and you get the benefit. Many times people sign up for the newsletter and then eventually end up taking the class anyways. So I'm figuring out. I'm figuring out the picks in the morning and I'm sending out the letters. Now, if you want to take the class, like I said, it's this weekend, you will learn the 26 points. Then you will be eligible to join the trading room. But it is one strategy. That's all you need to be successful in the market. 
and I truly believe this is one of the reasons for my success. Not only does my gap system work, the fact that I'm so focused and I've gotten so good at predicting where somebody's gonna go in a gap, I've gotten so good at it because I've been trading since 2008, is really, really, again, one of the reasons for my success. I don't do lots of different things. They're a distraction. And again, as I said earlier, as far as intuition, you don't get that heightened intuition when you're all over the place. You just don't. It's a, Think of the sports example, because I think that is a really, really good example. I just got back from being out of town. I did not trade today. Ashok, I can look at Myrna for you. I, my assistant ran the room. Anyways, you do not need a general overall broad-based view to make money. Tons of people have that and fail all the time. Learn how to read institutional money and the price patterns it gaps, and you don't need to do anything else. Because if your reason for doing this is to make money, this will make you money. And again, I'm very focused on that. So is this something for you? Do you want to come trade with me? I don't know. But you have to have between 9.30 and 10 available. If you're going to do the options, you're probably going to have to have that available just to get the trade on. You can put a sell order in if you're in it at a certain price, 50% or 100%, whatever you want to do. We're usually in and out of the day trades pretty fast though, okay? You could do this from home, you could do this from your office, you could do this from anywhere in the world. You do not have to live in New York or the United States to trade the US market. You do have to have a trading account. Where do you wanna go? Anywhere. There's a million different brokers. You could shop around, you can trade at any platform. You've gotta have day charts, you gotta be able to short, okay? If you want, to ask me questions as far as risk and things like that with the size of your account, how much should you risk, you can ask me. I will give you my advice and say, well, if you have this much in here and you just did the class, I keep it in this range, okay? Because that is important. It's important to baby step in until you say, yeah, I totally get it. I know what I'm doing, all right? Anyways, this class is called The Golden Gap. That's where you're going to learn the system. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The class is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $69.99 U.S. dollars. You must email me for the forms if you want to sign up. I usually do this class once a month, but I'm running a special for this class, which we'll talk about in a minute. The trends, if you want to do the combo, the trends course is Tuesday, June 15th. People, I do have people already signed up for this. It's 11 to 3. This class is normally $1,000 alone, plus you get the trading room one month with that. So this saves you $500 if you sign up for the Golden Gap and the trends together. It's called the Golden Gap Combo. Now this, I love this, I love this picture so much. This pool baby here. The summer special is sign up for the Golden Gap course by Friday, June 11th, and you will receive the Stock Swiss Show live trading room and the Gap Options newsletter free through the end of this year. Okay, 12.31.21. This ends Friday. If you would like a trial to the room for this week, email me. This is a great special. Don't miss out. You get all my options and day trades till the end of the year free, plus you do the class this weekend. You can do this for one price for $69.99. Now, I will bring up my charts here and look at Myrna. Let's hold on one second. And any other questions? Again, the, all these things are wild cards. Everyone sees them in the news. I, what did this do today? I mean, you know, all these things that are vaccine related are crap shoots. But I'll look at it. I'll tell you what, what I think of it. I can't. I, I don't remember the last time I've traded this. I'm not sure I've traded this for the last year and a half. But I'll look. Obviously, something happened here news related. You asked about it, Ashcock. What it? What was the news? This wasn't earnings, I can tell you that. Low was 206 and high was 227. No, I did not do this. I did not trade today. And if I had, I wouldn't have done it. So there's my two cents. It's strong. It's a beautiful chart. You can't do anything with this here today. I don't know what it did, but I would not have done this. If you were long it already, you benefited from the move. Would I have gone long this today in a bullish gap? No. Looks like a news-related event, and let's just see exactly what happened here. Let's look at the one minute. 
Looks like it had one big move up and pittered out. Move straight up here. First hour of the day and then pittered out. There you go. It's I just said news. So these types of things, could you theoretically have rated this? Yes. Would I have done that? No. If I had rated it, would it have rated per my system? I got to be honest with you. I don't know without rating it. Eyeballing it here, I can't say. But I probably would not have rated it because of the fact that I know that as one of these companies, these have been very uh, news, 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 news. So I probably wouldn't have given it the time of the day and I probably would have looked for something better. But again, I did not trade today. Uh, so I didn't read anything today and I don't know if there was anything better. But if you knew the system, you could have rated it yourself. And if it rated for the 26 point system, yes, you could have gone long it. I don't know what it would have rated, but I probably would not have bothered with it simply because it's Moderna. And I would have, I just said it before I even knew what it was. It was, it was not anything other than the news. So you can't predict everything that has a move. You do understand that. The idea of trading is not that you would, you can't look back and say, oh, Oh crap, if I had done, if I just had done that, I would have made a million dollars. But how would you have known it would have done that? Do you understand what I'm saying? Training, if you look at it as a serious thing, as a business, is you find something that is predictable and then you trade it with a, with a certain amount of risk. There are many things that have moves on the day in the market that are completely unpredictable and you could never have predicted would occur. Do you understand? Some of them are even gaps. Some of them are not gaps, okay? Not everything is tradable every single day, not every chart, and including the market. Sue, are you new or have you been following me for a while? Because I don't recognize your email. Pete, you look new. Dev, you've been around forever. Vito, you've been around forever. Kirk, I don't know if you're new or not. First time, okay. Yeah, I mean, if you're interested in the class, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. I do not know what we will get this week. In fact, I will just quickly look here and see if we have, take this off, if we have anything that I might be interested in this tomorrow morning. Let me look. We had a lot of economic data out last week um, we do have a couple of things this week that could move the market, though. Well, we have, always have the Thursday unemployment numbers. Let me just look at the calendar here. Oh, we have Stitch Fix. Oh, crap, that's tonight. Galahad, you didn't bring it up. Did you not even know that? Let's look. Here we go. There's a lot of gap. Look at it. I'm not going to rate this now because I'm tired. I've been up since early this morning, but I'll look at this tomorrow. Let me just see where it is. So this is around 67. So this closed today at 57.94. Boom. Right now it's trading after hours. It's like been hovering around here so this is stitch fix okay this is having earnings right now this is a live gap what is it doing It's gapping up I have no idea where this opens tomorrow morning so I will wait to the morning to rate it but again you could rate gaps at night if you want this is a nighttime gap it's happening live here's the information here's the big bar boom look at it there it goes high was actually 68.60 so I will rate this tomorrow morning to determine if it's going to rally or if it's gonna fall. 
I think it's too early to rate this because I played this song many, many times. Tomorrow could open at 75 or it could open at 60. It's just this moves pretty big and pretty fast and a lot. And it's too early to rate this because I don't know where it's going to be tomorrow morning. But this is definitely doable to look at for tomorrow and could be a trade for us. It's definitely has volume. Here it is. Well, we know we have one thing to watch tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's going to be a good summer to trade. I may be less active. <clears throat> less active doing day trades, less active doing options because I really, really, really want to try to, again, hone it down. You know, hone it down to that nitty gritty of getting it right, getting my win ratio up. Less is more, so to speak. Do you know what I mean? You make more money if you have more winners. Perfection. It's always my desire. I do the best I can. Let's look at NVIDIA. But this definitely, I was perfect with this. The crazy thing about this was, I mean, if you didn't know this at earnings, you wouldn't have even known it here. Like, you can't even tell just looking at it if you didn't know it that this was that. Look at that chart. Pip Daddy, there were some trades in there you could have afforded. You could have afforded some of those NVIDIAs. Some were expensive, but some you could have afforded. I thought you did a lot of the Apple. I thought you took a big position in that, quite frankly. Galahad, did you do NVIDIA? I talked about this in the room. Any questions? from anyone. Galahad, you didn't do NVIDIA. Oh my God, I can't believe you. This is this is a trade you would have normally loved. Fact of knowing you, Galahad, sometimes you hold things too long, you'd probably still be in it. And actually it looks good. <laughs> but knowing you the way you are, you'd be like 70, 725 or bust. I felt 700 was 100% realistic, though. Any questions about the room, options, gaps, the class this weekend? Sue, email me if you have any other questions, if you want a trial. Your focus is short for the market. Well, you better take it easy, Galahad. You better take it easy, buddy. You better take it easy here. So anyways, getting back to what I was saying before I let everybody go. Um, it's the kind of thing where I think we're going to have some nice moves this summer. You know, like NVIDIA, like the other ones we talked about where we have nice moves. And so based on that, you know, that's what that's the time when you can make the profits you know my two cents galahad here is that we're gonna run up here and make a new high this week so i you know we're we're not gonna fall here right now i mean that's my two cents we're, we're gonna break out here this week we're probably gonna do it tomorrow so i mean this is just not going down again many of these things don't make any sense and eventually, at some point, I may decide to short this market, but it's not right now, and it's not this week. You know? Listen, good to see some of you tonight. Pip Daddy, continue to be careful. You are new. Anybody else have any other questions? Think about what I said tonight. I tried to give you some good insight on things. I fully believe that it is possible, even if you haven't done well, to come to me and do well. It's a matter of talking yourself into it for the level of commitment. You know, my class is $7,000 and so is a newsletter. It's a matter of 
you know, you deciding that this is really your commitment level that you want to do it. And like I said, you, in, you invest that in yourself. It's, it's something that does not have to take your whole week up or lots of time. And it doesn't even have to take you a lot of time to learn it. But there is a financial investment in learning from me and also in yourself for what you, where you want to go with this thing, where you want to be six months from now. By January 2022, we're almost halfway through this calendar year. If you don't start setting goals for yourself, time is just going and flying by. It's very difficult to believe that we're almost halfway through the year. It's crazy to me, but we are. We are. And 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 so you, you, you have to look at your life and you have to start doing some goal setting if you're not where you want to be with your training because life keeps marching on. Okay. So if you want to sign up for the summer special, email me. You can get in the room in the options newsletter this week before the class. Classes this weekend. If you have questions about the class, email me. If you want a trial for this week, email me. It's Melissa at the stockswish.com. Be safe, everyone. Enjoy your evening. Thank you, Kathy.